everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to animate using Medibank Paint Pro or really any paint program out there that doesn't have um, the onion layer setting or doesn't have a way to combine your images to make the animation. Medibank Paint Pro does not have an onion skin setting. If you don't know what that is, basically it you draw something and then you put onion skin mode on and then you go to the next layer and it'll make the bottom layer a color and lower the opacity automatically for you. So it's easier to tell what you're drawing on top of and what is the, and what you're so what so what you're drawing on top of and if you have an image say on layer 3 and you're drawing on layer 2 you can tell what you're drawing under. Anyways, today I'm going to animate just a winky smiley face for the sake of time. So, layer one, cute smiley face, lower the opacity. Layer two, going to change the color slightly. Yellow was a bad choice. We'll go to blue. And then we'll lower the opacity again. Then we'll go to another color. And there we go. And then we can keep the opacity the same as normal on your last layer. Where you change the opacity is so things aren't muddled and you can line things up exactly I'm not being exact once again for the sake of time um then if you want you can go through and change your color back or you could have used the same color all to begin with I didn't because I think it makes it easier to tell what what layer you're on And there we go. So then all you're going to do is go to File, Save As, Cancel, I pressed the wrong thing, File, Save As. Uh, we're going to save this as A. Um, make it, well you can do a PNG or JPEG. JPEG is a smaller file. So I'm just going to save it as a JPEG. And I want it saved to my desktop. Right? Okay. And okay. And then I'm going to show the second layer hiding layer one and layer two. I should have mentioned before, you hide the layers. So I just had layer two and layer three hidden and saved layer one as a picture. Now I'm saving layer two as a picture. Again, file, save as, desktop, we'll rename that B, and make it a JPEG, save, okay, hide layer 2, show us layer 3, save as, call that C, and save it as a JPEG. Alright, now you could take your images and put them into any editing software you have. iMovie, um, Windows Movie Maker, um, anything you want. But I wanted to show you guys one that I know is accessible to everyone and that is um, Fire Alpaca Doga or Doga, I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyways, Fire Alpaca is another drawing software I don't like their interface as much as Medibang, and so that's why I don't use their drawing software. But they have a free GIF animation create thing. So all you have to do is type in Fire Pack a GIF or copy this. I will have the link to the Fire Pack a Doga down below. Um, basically, all you do 
is you can select all your files. So desktop. And then I just hold down shift and get all of them in there at the same time. Sending the files, upload is complete, and then you can drag and drop to change the framework of the order. So down here you can switch the order. I have them in the order I want. And then over here you can change the completion size. I usually just leave it at 100. You can insert the file pack logo. I don't want that. You can have it on a loop replay or not. And then you can change your frames or how fast it goes. So if I go to, so three frames you see right here, it's going fairly slow, but 30 frames it's like something wrong with your little smiley dude. <laughs> um, I like the six frames per second on this one. And then you just press create a GIF animation. Then you press the download button. And it takes you to this page and you just you just click the download. Um, so yeah, that is how I animate using Fire Alpaca. And well not using Fire Alpaca, using the Fire Alpaca Doga. Um, uh, but that's how I animate using Medibank Paint Pro. Once again, you don't have to use the Fire Alpaca Doga. You can use iMovies or um, Windows Movie Makers. I just wanted to show you guys something that everyone could get their hands on. And there you go. I know it's not the nicest thing having to, to use two separate things to do one task, but it's not hard, it doesn't take long, um, and it works. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment down below what type of um, videos, tutorials you want me to make for you guys, and I will do it. I've been really consistent uploading every week uh, but yeah I love you all and I will see you next time bye